Hello everybody, here's Rene again from Icebear and um, Easter is just at the doorstep and I would like to give you a little sneaky peek onto the new version which is just about to hatch from an Easter egg. Um, we already had a short video about linking Wagner together to KNX data points. In the new version you will see everything is just going more smoothly than ever because you don't have to map the BACnet data points to your CanX connection anymore. You just import your CanX project um, into the BACnet driver and you do have one link to do and you're done. All the CanX data points from your building will be mapped automatically onto the BACnet server. So as you can see here, I do have already the CanX connection. We imported already the data points which is done by exporting um, from the ETS into a project file. You import the project file and you do have the KNX data points available. You can see here we do have 105 data points in this uh, KNX connection. So that means uh, we do have 105 group addresses. And that would be a lot of work if you have to map them actually individually to the BACnet server. Now with the new version, you just grab, as you know, the Canix, uh, sorry, the BACnet server here, drag this component into your tool, into your page, and the first thing we have to do, we go into our Canix connection, we get everything ready, you see here the data points from Canix, say file, export to a CSV, which is uh, tab um, divided, you save this. There, there was one already I was playing with just before. I just save it in there. And then what you have to do is go into your BACnet component, into channels. Then you go here, select KNX driver, click import. And now choose the file we just exported. Click open and all the BACnet data points will be automatically added to the BACnet server, will be set to the right object type and automatically mapped. You hit OK. And the only thing you have to do at this stage is link one <coughs> data point, which we have in here, so we have a look into the BACnet server, open them up in the, in the, second, uh, in the second window in here. Oops, sorry. Open them up in the second window in here. And then you find the new data point, newly created CanX driver gateway. And you find on the CanX component here on the right side, the CanX driver gateway as well. And you just link them together and you are done. <coughs> Set the physical settings of your BACnet driver uh, in the properties, what IP address to use and you're ready to go and your BACnet server is up and running. So furthermore, while we're here, just how to link different um, sites together, you can also use this on your MQTT client and make all your CanX data points available to the MQTT world. So that means you can use just an MQTT client in here and you will find the CanX driver gateway on the MQTT client as well. Link them together to your driver data point we did already and go to the channels, select CanX, click import. You browse to the same file we just imported to the BACnet server, open it up and all your topics will be populated automatically. You hit OK. You set up the MQT server broker connection data with username, password, and you are ready to go to publish all your KNX group addresses data points within seconds into the world. Another big feature coming with the new MQTT client is you can have a primary broker where you publish it onto and you can make your um, MQT data fully redundant by adding 
as many additional brokers as you like with um, broker addresses and you have a full redundant data system within no time. So stay tuned and hope you enjoy the Easter egg. Um, be surprised when it will hatch and I see you soon or hear you soon. I wish you all a very happy Easter. Enjoy, the fa uh, enjoy your family, enjoy the time with your family and enjoy the break. Thank you for watching. Bye.